to see you guys. I'm having walkie talkie and communicating with the people, the magicians behind the screen. And then here with you guys and my best friend Alien Queen, so happy to have the moderation here. Uh, do you like ice cream, you guys? How do you feel? How do you feel? <laughs> Yeah, I'm so happy. Sorry, uh, I just need to talk to a technical student. I kind of need to stop. Okay. All right. Okay. So, hi, everybody. Hi. Hi, guys. And thank you all for being here. Makes me really happy. I'm very nervous, by the way. <laughs> oh, you're you're the pro, so it's really cool. Um, so actually, Alien P. Last year, her stage was the first IRL uh, yeah, event in the show, and now it's the second year. So, do you feel the changes, or yeah, how do you think? I'm still excited and full nervous. Yeah, <laughs> it's all the same. Okay, how do you think about your watching your artwork like all around the world? It's just amazing to see my art like huge like this, like, and for everyone to view it and be immersed in it. It brings me a lot of joy. Oh, well, thank you. I just need to. Can Can we have a micro uh, volume volume up, please? Higher, maximum micro volume. Thank you. Okay. So I know most of the most of people here. We know you, but just for new babies, <laughs> would you introduce yourself and your story and background? Hi guys, I'm Aileen and I'm a digital illustrator. I've been working in animation for 20 years. i have um, a psychedelic artist and I love cartoons, so yeah, and I'm a painter as well. So uh, since uh, what age uh, you started to draw or you had another job before? Um, I always knew that I wanted to be an artist since I was a kid. Um, I went to art school, and after that, I just have always been immersed in art for a really long time. What brings you to this uh, rabbit hole, if you could tell us the story? <laughs> what were you doing for the previous life? My previous life, I was working in animation and game design, and then I was also a traditional painter and painting in real life. And then when NFTs happened, I was like, wow, this is awesome. It's an awesome outlet for digital artists. So I decided to try it and show everyone my art. And then this is where I'm at now. So. And the turning point of entering the rabbit hole, this NFT journey. So how did you enter this uh, NFT? How did you discover this NFT world, the crypto world? So um, my friends, they work in game design, so they are into crypto. I've been into crypto since 2017. So I knew about this and like my friends told me about NFTs. And then in um, 2021, I really got into it because I was so busy with real life stuff. So I didn't really have time, but I was always in crypto. And then um, I heard about Grimes selling her artwork on NFT Gateway. And Grimes is an artist that I really look up to. So I was like, I'm going to give this a try with my digital art. And then everything just happened really quickly. And um, I didn't think that people would really like my art. And it's just here we are. Yeah, here we are. <laughs> OK. So my quick interview style is based on the Korean entertainment uh, broadcasting uh, the program, because whenever they do the interview, they pick the alphabet of the name. So we have Alien Queen, uh, A L I E N, the Q U E E N. So I will just directly ask uh, based on this alphabet, and she could just answer to us quickly. So let's say A, art. So what inspires you when you create your art? So my art is inspired about is my childhood, um, and also I'm a Cambodian refugee. Um, I came to the U.S. in the 80s after my parents um, survived the genocide. And then that's why I have a lot of artwork with skulls in it, because it talks about mortality and how life is so short. It's like um, so fleeting. So you need to enjoy the moment, because everything that's beautiful is all going to fade. Um, that's why I have it 
the melting effect because I also um, have experimented with psychedelic, which also opened my mind um, to my artwork and I was able to transcend it into my painting where it also represents a psychedelic feeling if you've ever done psychedelic and also represents that everything in life is going to go away eventually. Oh, thank you. That was it. Love. What do you love? <laughs> I love everything. I love life. I love people. I love recently, art. Recently. What do you love the most recently? What do I love the most recently? DJ. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So I've been starting to DJ. I have a passion for DJing right now. So it was a hobby and I just keep like practicing and everything. I love music. So I'm just DJing on the side too. Uh, okay, now it's I. Um, I think this word is quite important for our Web3 uh, ecosystem. It's identity. Because some of our art artists or people, they play with uh, false identities, which is the IRL, plus they also have a digital identity. So would you share uh, about your opinion about your identity? You're playing, actually, we, we know who you are, right? And there are some artists who play like, behind the scene. So would you have a plan to turn your identity for later or you're keeping your identity like same in IRL or this for life? Just really love to know about your opinion. Well, with my NFT, with my artwork and alien, I'm keeping this identity in this community as my real life, which is very separate from this. But I feel like in I've never been able to fit in my whole life. So being in a community like this where people accept me for who I am, I'm going to keep it that way. I don't know if I'll ever, well, ever bring this to my real life, which I may, but right now I'm just very happy and comfortable with this community that accepts me for who I am. Okay, now it's E. Uh, what is your favorite food? What do you eat? <laughs> I love eating. <laughs> um, my favorite food. I have many favorite foods. I love sushi. I love the Vietnamese food. I love Cambodian food because I'm Cambodian. I love Italian food. So I just love eating in general. Do you like uh, Portuguese food? Have you ever tried? Yes, I like Portuguese food. Okay. The seafood is amazing. Yeah. And N, it's NFT, and Alien Key would love to share some great news for the first time today. So, would you share about your NFT drop and artwork, please? So, right now, I have a live drop going on. It's for two days um, during, it's made especially for the, this Lisbon conference. And it's um, the first time I've ever experimented with base. So, it's minting, it's like, minted on base and is powered by Transient Lab. Also the first time I've ever um, minted on Transient Lab. So it's really cool. Good <laughs> over there, Transient Lab. Woo yes. <laughs> so yeah, so if you guys are into my work, it's the off position. I wanted to make it accessible for everyone in the community that loves my art. And um, yeah, there's two pieces that there's one called Tales from the Crypto and Crypto Base, and it's all about the culture. Wow, okay, so maybe we can check out the Transient Lab, her live meeting page. And now it's Q. Question Is there any a question for Alien Queen? We'd love to wonder about. Yeah, the question maybe you, you, Alex, Rocky? Yes. <laughs> question or not? <laughs> Sorry, I love you. So, so what's your next big project, Alien Queen? Because we love you so much. Oh, my next big project. Um, I have a lot going on. I've been just really working on my craft and one one is because I think I'm preparing for making an exhibit in Paris. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, that's what I'm working on. I draw very slowly, so I take my time with a lot of my artwork, so, yeah. Well, thank you. And actually, that's Queen, uh, we did a question, and uh, you is news about the tools. So when you create your artwork, I see you always posting GM with the, drawing with the, you know, the media tools. Yeah. Would you share about uh, your tools? So, I used to draw with, 
like on a schedule, like pens and paper, postcards, markers, everything. But now with digital, I just use my iPad and draw with that. Really, I treat it just like a digital sketchbook. I draw very organically. Um, and I love it with my iPad and using Procreate because I can change the colors, play with the colors. It's more freedom for my illustration. How do you take care of your elbows? Because I see all of your artworks has a lot of lines. Somehow it really hurts. So do you have some special care for? <laughs> I mean, that's why I take a really long time to draw because I like will draw and take a break and just try to find balance. But now with experience, I'm going to be faster. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I think E2E was the exhibition and then the edition, but I think we pretty much covered with the yeah. previous question. She kind of spoiled the exhibition as well. And then edition was also Transient Lab. And the new artwork also, um, you also uh, ask that. And yeah, I think, is there any last words? I just want to thank everyone here for all the support. I love the NFT community. Um, it's very small. I love the crypto community, but we all have a vision that we're all aiming for. And this is a digital renaissance, so digital art renaissance. Yeah. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Jingle, please, production team. Thank you.